Good morning. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. <laughs> Happy Friday. We finally made it to Friday, and we had some really, really scary weather yesterday. Yeah. But before we get into all the scary details, look what's behind us. Hey, right here at the landing. <laughs> Yesterday was a big storm came through, started out on the west side uh, over in Oklahoma. I've seen some of our friends sharing pictures on Facebook, and uh, man, some people even got hail. Yeah. I'm talking about big chunks of hail. I know our friends uh, Drew and Lindsay over at Drew's Lens Reacts and Into the Mist, they were showing pictures on Facebook, big chunks of hail. Yeah. Our friends Gary and Mary with Junk the Gems sent me some pictures with a uh, man and a video with handfuls of hail. It didn't hail here, though. What the hell didn't come here, though? <laughs> yeah, but we... We made it, you know. It got real windy. Yeah, it was really windy. It rained its behind off. There were even storm trackers over in Fort Smith and in the smaller towns around us in Boonville and Danville. Um, our friend Brooke Burks actually was sending me updates on where the storm tracker was heading, and they were hit right in our area. Yeah. So that was pretty nerve-wracking, but I do want to say thank you so much to all of our friends and subscribers out there and the viewers in the YouTube lands sending us updates and stuff like that. We do appreciate it. We do. And because of it storming so bad and raining so much, and because, as you can see, we got old Betsy here, that must obviously mean we got all the logs down for the corduroy road. Yeah, guys, we, we pushed it yesterday. Yep. To beat the rain to at least finish putting the logs down and i am so thankful that the rain actually got pushed a day and a half away longer than yeah. when it was supposed to because we needed every bit of it yeah um we we have some really awesome plans today um uh, today if you haven't seen it yet we just posted a video on our other channel drifting dreamers 5. if you're not a subscriber to drifting dreamers 5 don't forget to subscribe um, we released a video that changes the way we get water here on the landing. Yeah. Super excited. We partnered up with a company, uh, I believe their name is Ite Heal. Ite Heal? Ite Heal? Anyway, water purification system. Super awesome. Took it down to the creek. We filtered water. It's got a, uh, a hybrid charcoal filter and a reverse osmosis filter. That water was really good. Yeah, so and it was super light, guys, and real simple yep. to figure out and put together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it pretty much came assembled. Yeah. So we're excited about it. And uh, another reason that we're excited is because tonight on our live, don't forget that we do go live every Friday night on Drifting Dreamers 5, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are going to be giving away one of these water purification system straight from the company. Unfortunately, it is only available uh, to be shipped in the U.S. and Canada. So our friends uh, that are in another country except for Canada, we do apologize. But it is there. They're shipping it. So it's going to be coming right from the company. Yeah. Uh, but the only way to win, guys, is going to be in the live. You must be in the live. We're going to have something, some creative way for you guys to win one of these things. I hope you're there. It's going to be so amazing. It's our very first giveaway from a sponsor. Is it our first? From a sponsor? Other than uh, EcoFlow sent out a bag and a shirt. Okay. So it's not our first. So it's not our first. EcoFlow. But an actual product. But an actual product, right. Okay. Right. EcoFlow has been a long time, uh, long time sponsor of our of our program. So we, we do appreciate them. Yes. But uh, tonight on the live, it's all going to be about Ike Heal. Yeah. I believe that's how you say it. <laughs> Um, we do have uh, some more plans today lined up, and we might even not be on the landing for our live. Yeah. We actually have plans to go see our friends Jamie and Kevin over at Orworks Littlefield. If you have not subscribed or have not checked them out yet, guys, definitely check them out. They got some really awesome content going on over at their place. Um, they just recently moved uh, a little bit closer to us in the general vicinity. They're about a half an hour away. We're going to be going over there tonight and playing some cards. Yep. A little bit of Texas Hold'em. <laughs> you got to know when to fold them. <laughs> but we might not even get there, right? Because of the storm. 
we're gonna go uh, walk down here and find out if the creek has uh, up to level to where we can still pass and check out the road and see how it held up to the storm. Let's go check it out, guys. Let's go. Don't hold, stop, stop. Don't walk backwards, you might fall down. Turn around. There you go. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that water. That's a heck of a low spot right there. You see how deep it is? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. There it is. There it is, dreamers. Oh, Alyssa. It doesn't look great on the other side of this road. A little sneak peek for you guys. And I do believe, after talking to Alyssa, that uh, we should have this video of all the work going on the road coming out when on Sunday yes so we were gonna try to have it out for you guys tomorrow on Saturday but because we are going over to our friend's house tonight to hang out and do our live over there a little bit less time on editing a little bit more hanging out time so you guys will see this work on Sunday right and guys it's just lay the logs down now that video it's not it's, just laying the logs well, down. I'm, what I'm saying is don't expect to see like a layer of the shale on here and like the rock and all we haven't gotten there for far yet guys yeah well so, I mean they'll they can yeah. yeah you guys can obviously tell that because well there's none on here <laughs> I'm talking about when the video comes out oh right right yeah because there'll be a couple more days some people take things a little bit more seriously than than what they what we mean so when you say the road is finished you know well, well no i i said that the logs were down i said it is uh finished with the logs is what i said oh look hey look at this so we did uh before we actually laid the raw uh, the logs in the road we dug drainage stitches and look at this the drainage stitches are working look at this my queen yeah. okay so look the water is coming in from the high side on this side. It's coming all the way down. It's coming down. There's actually movement of our water. Look, you can see the water is moving. Look, in our pipe. Look, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at all this water drainage. Guys, this water would be going right into the road right now. It would have so much more water on it. And big shout out to Kevin over at Works Little Field. He's the one who came over and, and gave us the pipe and really the ideas. Look. Oh, so sweet. Here's our drainage ditch. And uh, Mama V was here to help us do the drainage ditch. Look at how it's draining, though. Look at that, guys. All the way over here into our little reservoir. Oh, look, even this other one is draining. Ah! Look, this one here is also draining. You can see uh, action jackson. And then we dug all the way out, and then I continued on my journey back into there. But that just goes to show you how much more drainage still needs to be dug. But I am super excited about that. Man. Pulling water off the road. It's better. Although I am a little nervous about this area right here. Hmm. <laughs> Talking about not being able to get off the mountain. Can we get off the landing? Look at this. This is a, a little bit of a muddy area. This area is going to get uh, rock and shale, so I'm not really worried about uh, putting any more logs across here. Although, who knows? You never know. I think we'll be able to make it. Here's the rest of Drifter's Lane. Yeah, I can hear the creek. It's blasting. 
Looks like we still got about a third of the water left in our backup reservoir. Need to pump that on over to our other tank. Here's this section of the road, and this was another section we were kind of worried about, but it looks like the shale is really holding up well right here. And uh, we're also going to dig a little, little drainage off into the yonder areas. Uncle David did a really good job on the road getting all this down, trying to make a low spot here to also drift out into that area. Too many buttons, flipping the buttons. This is the rocks that we're going to be grabbing for that little muddy area. We're going to be collecting, I'm just going to back the truck up over here and just put the, or uh, not the truck, the gorilla cart and get these, get some rocks and go over there and throw in there. Look at this muck. I don't even want to step in that. That's straight quicksand right there, my queen. Yep. Straight quicksand. The rest of this is just mud puddles. This isn't really anything substantial. We're not going to get stuck or spin our wheels right here. I love how the color is just popping off of everything. Yeah. Look, even in the, in the midst of all the green, look, you can still see the reds. Look at the, even look at the camera. Dang, huh? Yeah, it's pretty. Oh yeah, you can hear it. It's oh, yeah. really flowing. It's really loud. Can you guys hear it yet? Can you dreamers hear it yet? Here, I'm just going to walk over here real quick and get look at a sneak peek before we even get down to the main area. Oh yeah. Huh. Huh. Hmm. We might not, we might not be going. We might not be going anywhere tonight. Oh. To give you guys an idea, look, check this out. To give you guys an idea, the water was about two foot lower. But you know what? I think. Uncle David made it out this morning and if he can make it out I don't know old Betsy's a little bit lighter well let's go on down there to the other end of the creek to where we actually drive through check that out that's really gonna tell us everything we need to know. Mm -hmm. let's go going on another adventure <laughs> Uncle David's got all the cool sayings <laughs> well he says Let's go on another adventure. Okay, let's go on our next quest. On our next quest. <laughs> A quest with my queen. <laughs> See, a little video off of TikTok, Facebook, and it was a guy, you know, just in the woods and the mountains, and he's wearing like medieval or viking clothes you know what i mean and right it says i don't know why people have not normalized this this should be everybody should be doing this or something like that it was funny <laughs> right oh yeah even this little creek right here is humping How you feel about that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yesterday, I asked you guys a question. I asked you, how long is your now? Your present moment? Because, you know, feelings happen in the moment. How long should we have these feelings? How long should we hold on to them? 
and about as long as this turtle that's in the middle of the road Aww. right here. Look, guys, we found a turtle. Turtle, turtle. Turtle. I got one question for you, Mr. Turtle. Are you turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get him out of the middle of the road at least. The real question is, which direction is he going? To the left or to the right? I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, let's help him out. Let's say he was going this way. Mr. Turtle. There you go, my guy. You're stuck in between the trees right there. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they say turtles are slow, but he's moving pretty quickly. Look at him. He's investigating. All right, Mr. Turtle. We ain't gonna mess with him too much. Get him out of the road. <laughs> Man, it is flowing, guys. Oof. Oof. This might be the first time this year we're trapped on the mountain, Lisa. Oh, what do you think? You think we're trapped? I don't know. Trapped like rats? Trapped like turtles? Huh? Drainage? Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple of uh, spots we need drainage. Main boat trail. Yeah, I mean, look at this. See the water right here? It's just coming down. It's coming right down this way, flowing at a pretty good rate. Like yep, and, and there is. I believe this is a ditch that Uncle David has already dug uh, to try to get it down there. But we need to divert it right here. Woo, diversion. This is the absolute best time to walk out here and check out the land. <laughs> oh, Alyssa. This isn't looking good for us. It's moving. It's already so cold. It's already cold. Water washing down the mountain. Look at her. Catching some B-roll. Look how bright green that is. All right, let's continue our journey. Continue our journey. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Slippery slopes. Slippery slopes. Let me get that out y'all's face.
we're about two more bins away. We're almost there. <laughs> I appreciate y'all going on a walk with us today. Look, another spot. That goes down into the creek. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now. It's coming off the side right here. For that puddle, it's coming more off the side of the road right here. So, all that water, Lisa, coming from the road. Oh, holy smokes, it's actually coming from right here. And it's even dumping into here. Oh, investigations are happening. Investigation. Yeah. Yeah, because over here on the left side is the higher ground because it's towards the mountain. The mountain. Look at that. Are these worms, Lisa? Look at that. You guys see that? Nope. Oh, I bet those are like tad tad more, more tadpole eggs. Okay, cool. It's more, it's just a, like instead of a big giant jelly. Here, let's get these back into the into the water. <laughs> All right, more tadpole eggs. Flowers. flowers are blooming everywhere. And they are a poppin'. Don't worry, my queen. You can take pictures with my camera when on the way back. Oh, look at the purple ones. It's pretty purple. Ooh. I like how the water is on the petals. Mm. It's angry. It's angry, but it's... Isn't she beautiful when she's angry? She is. But it's nowhere near as bad, baby. Remember? Remember when all that was covered? And it was just all water. It's really not too bad out here, like cold wise. It's just since the sun's not out, it's a like there's a slight chill. Yeah, it ain't too bad. You got on a little bit of layer. I know my red's not really matching my orange and blue. Speaking of orange and blue, a big win last night for the Gators in college hoops. Go Gators! They beat Georgia last night to advance on to the SEC champion or uh, to further into the SEC tournament anyway. Um, yeah, this puddle here. We got a big game tonight against Alabama. Colbert's doing their job. Check it out. It's a caterpillar right there. Or not a caterpillar, but a... Oh, a centipede. Centipede. Culvert's working nicely. Creek, creek, creek. I think 
saw the different greens pop very well at like after it rains and the, oh yeah and you guys are actually losing a little bit of the crispness uh, from this camera because I'm using it on uh, like the extra stability mode so that it doesn't shake as bad when we're walking right but from doing that I think it takes it it takes some of the crispness down some of the quality of the picture I think it goes from I think it goes from like 4k to 1080 Oh, Alyssa. Here we go. Coming around the last bend. We're about to see. We're about to see if we can cross. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, man. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> you see that face? Look at her face. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, my queen. I don't know either. The creek looks angry, dreamers. It looks angry. Can you hear the creek now? Check it out. Turn around. Just turn around. Mmm. Angry. Not up here yet, though. So that's... Yeah, that's a good sign. It's not too bad right here. But right here is the deepest part. Let's find out. I really just don't want the water to spill over the top of my boots. So I'm gonna move slowly. Well, I'm to the drifter tree. It hadn't went over the top of my boots yet. Yeah. I figured if it goes over the top of the boots, it might be too high to drive through. right well it's very close to the top of my boot I don't know I don't know I don't know probably gonna play it by ear like Lissa said yeah <laughs> maybe maybe we'll see we do want to go over and hang out with our friends and, uh, and have some cars. There's supposed to be quite a few people there. And Uncle David did drive through here with his trailer today. Yeah, but that was earlier this morning. Okay. Which would be worse than it would be now. See? Oh, yeah. Because it's had a chance to sit now, right? Well, I'm just thinking all the water is running down now after the rain. I don't know. What do you guys think? Drop in the comments. Let us know. Do you think it's safe enough to cross... Or do you think we should just stay home? <laughs> we'll find out later on tonight. I mean, we can see in here and there's not a lot of, like, pressure. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it does look like the velocity is a lot, but we could easily walk through here. Yeah. Even when I was out in the dead center of it, I was standing perfectly still. I think we'll be able to drive across it. I think my main worry, to be honest, is, is not even the creek. Lissa, it's a, uh, can we get out of Drifter's Lane? <laughs> That's going to be the real test. We'll have to see. I guess we're going to go ahead and, and hop off of here. We're going to get, we're going to, oh, you all right? Yeah. We're going to go get some, uh, go get some rock. Start piling it up. I think we're going to get the kids today. I told the kids I was going to make them uh, be rock hounds. <laughs> Back to work. Back to work. 
Hope y'all have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to come and hang out with us tonight, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get your chance to win one of those off, uh, awesome Ite Hill water purification system. Good job. Love you guys. <laughs> Keep on dreaming. Keep on being dreamy. Keep on keeping on. We'll catch y'all later. Bye. Yeah. What'd you say? I love these boots. Love those boots.